Perfect. Mm. Hi everyone, my name is Asante. Welcome to my previous later than last factor world. I've been in the game before. This time, I'm going to play it with the hardest charge possible. This time, if anyone don't know, the max speaker I, uh, I can get uh, is 7,000 speaker. And then, this will be my goal. To get the max speaker, which is uh, 7,000 speaker. To do that, I must fail. The navy will be so fuzzled because that's my goal. Let's get started. I practiced it. Long ago, in a lawless no age, problem. a pack of bandits invaded a small village. Amidst the chaos, a terrified young farm girl played her flute to drown out the madness. As the music spiraled high into the sky, a giant spectre appeared above her. She begged the spectre to destroy the bandits, and it swiftly obeyed. The town was saved, and the spectre vanished just as quickly as it had appeared. But the, but the farm girl knew that in times of danger, she needed only to play the flute, and the spectre would appear again. A quaint tale, wouldn't you say? Aye, master. I think the time has come for us to pen the next chapter. Of course, Master. Well, what do you think, Luke? Do you see anything yet? No, nothing. <laughs> I'm still having a tough time buying all of this. It sounds like some scary bedtime story. Is this even possible? Well, we'll soon find out. And a poor little boy who predicts where the giant specter will appear. <sighs> so what now? I mean, what if this thing never even sh shows up? Uh, hmm? What is... What on earth could that be? It will. It sounds like... It sounds like music! Uh, uh, the flute! It must be... <gasps> uh. Quickly! To the window! <gasps> oh. What is that thing? Can dark giant made me even more determined to help the professor keep his word. Together, we would shine the light of truth upon this ghastly shadow. Ah, oh, 
Top of the morning. Why, thank, thank you very much. much. Professor? Oh, Professor. Professor, a letter just gave over you. Oh. <sighs> Thank you, Rosa. Ugh. Sounds like someone was up researching all night. Again. It's no wonder the other professors are so intimidated by you. Oh, they just think that I'm some young upstart. You work too hard, Professor. It's no good. By the way, Dean Delmona came by and said he needed to speak to you. And that he would what is this? Today. I don't know why you had to tell hmm. him that. He Regards, just Clark. Later, if you ask me. After all these years? The Rosa, I'm going out. Hey. Oh. Thank you, Rosa. <sighs> I hope he remembers to eat something. Here. What was that about? <sighs> nice to see you again, Professor Layton. And you are? Why didn't Dean Dilmona tell you? Tell me what? I'm Emmy Altava, your new assistant. Emmy Altava. Call me Emmy. I'm sorry, you're my... Assistant? You do know what an assistant is, don't you? <laughs> of course. I'm sorry, Miss Altava, but... Professor, please, Emmy, and stop apologizing so much. All right, Emmy. So sorry. But it seems that there has been some sort of mistake here. Oh, I don't think so, Professor. Dean Delmona hired me himself. It seems that you have been too busy to attend your departmental meetings lately. Is that right? Well, I suppose there might be some truth to that. However... Sounds to me like if anyone needs an assistant, it's you. So, from now on, I'll be the backup on all your projects. Got it? Great. I can't wait to get started. The third sound is Miss I wasn't too surprised the professor didn't remember me. It had been some time since our first meeting, after all. And clearly he had a lot on his mind. Which is exactly why he needed an assistant like me. It was my first day on the job. And I was ready for anything. So I thought. We still had yet to meet the young boy who would help us unravel the strangest mystery I could have ever imagined. So what perplexing mystery are we hot on the trail of now? Why would you ask that? Well, you're off to somewhere in quite a hurry. Something must have piqued your interest. <laughs> that intuition will serve you well. What's this? A letter? Very good. I received it about an hour ago. Go ahead, read it aloud. Herschel, my dear old friend, I must earnestly seek your help again. Our little town is in the most extraordinary predicament. At night, a mysterious giant shrouded in fog has been laying waste to our homes. I am convinced you can help stop this madness. Please, come soon. Regards, Clark. A giant? Oh, that's a... How well do you know this person? Clark and I go back a long way. I can't imagine he would fabricate stories for no reason. I find the other message in the letter very interesting as well. Other message? 
in the first puzzle. So, if I can uh, get the seven picker out without a uh, single, without uh, hint coins, then I'm a genius. I just have to remember anything uh, that I uh, practiced before. Handle this one, Professor. That puzzle was no problem. It must be no incorrect answer.
<laughs> Wait to this.
That's how he, he got the information about the Golden God. Some puzzles must be met directly. Perfect. No puzzle is without an answer. The shadow is the
do you think about this? I did it, Professor. A challenging puzzle, to be sure. I love the thrill of a good solution.
genius. Some puzzles must be met directly. No puzzle is without an answer. And that's how I did it.
A challenging puzzle, to be sure. I love the thrill of a good solution. Perfect. Got this one. You can't let a puzzle intimidate you. Like this. As humble as ever. Emmy, back in London, Leighton and I both wanted to be elite archaeologists. One of us certainly succeeded, and somehow I found myself as mayor of this small, rural town. That is no small feat, Clark. Oh, Herschel, no need to humor me. It is amusing at best, I'll give you that. But all that aside, please, tell me, it's what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I came as soon as I received your letter. Letter? I'm sorry, Herschel. What letter is that? The letter that... Did you not send this letter? Please, have a look. I certainly did not write that. But who would have forged it? Forged? Who indeed? Have you made any enemies recently? Of course, Herschel. I'm the mayor. It appears to me that someone wanted you here in town. Yes, that is what I am thinking now as well. So, who wrote the secret message? Good question, Emmy. 
Mr. Triton, there was a hidden plea for help in that letter. Clark, do you think this is simply the work of some prankster? No, unfortunately I don't. Miss Tolleray is in grave danger. We have indeed been under attack by some sort of mysterious giant, just as that letter states. It wreaks havoc at night when the fog is thick. It sounds ridiculous, I know, but it is true. But how can that be? <coughs> I must confess I have yet to see this giant with my own eyes. However, the destruction of homes and buildings left in its wake, that is quite enough evidence for me. The townspeople are afraid. They believe that the Spectre has returned with a vengeance. The Spectre? Thanks. There's a legend here that tells of an ancient spirit, a Spectre. When the town was in danger, the Spectre would act as Miss Tolleray's guardian in its moment of need. But this Spectre is different. Instead of protecting us, it is trying to destroy us. I am doing all I can, but if we are dealing with an ancient entity, then I fear my efforts are in vain. As the mayor, it is my duty to keep this town and its citizens safe. But I... Herschel, could you... Sir? What is it, Doland? Pardon me, sir, but you mentioned that Professor Layton worked on some difficult cases for Scotland Yard. You said, with great pride, that he had assisted in solving them all. Perhaps we could ask for his assistance here as well. Of course, Doland. I suppose I have no other choice. Herschel, will you help us? Please, for an old friend. Of course, Clark. I would never refuse a friend in need. I assure you, I will do what I can. Thank you, Herschel. I am eternally in your debt. Things are starting to get good, eh, Professor? Before we go, Clark, I haven't even asked about Brenda or your son. How is Luke? My wife is fine. She's away. Family matters. Luke has shut himself up in his room. As usual. I would like to say hello to Luke, if that is all right. I haven't seen him since he was a baby. Of course. I think he might enjoy that. I should warn you, he has been withdrawn lately. Some days, I can't even get him out of his room. I ask him what the matter is, and he responds with silence. Perhaps it will be good for him to talk to someone outside of the family. I would appreciate that, Herschel. My pleasure, Clark. I shall have a few words with Luke before Emmy and I begin our investigation. about this. That puzzle was no problem.
Maybe he's sleeping. Perhaps. Luke, my name is Herschel Layton. I'm a friend of your father's. Could we talk for a moment? Certainly. But first, you'll have to solve my door puzzle. Your door puzzle? Ah, I see. Luke needs to test our metal with a puzzle. That's so cute, Professor. Let's do it. So we shall. Clever puzzle, Luke. Mm. Your letter. I thought you might want it back. <gasps> Professor, you think Luke wrote the letter? Clark was never a fan of typed correspondence. He always wrote his letters out in longhand. Moreover, only someone very close to Clark would know about our past together. This someone would know I could never ignore a friend in need. Are you really... Professor Layton? Is this true, Luke? <clears throat> How could you do something like this? What were you thinking? Were you even thinking at all? <clears throat> Here now. Don't you turn your back on me again. Clark, please. <clears throat> Forgive me. The boy has barely spoken to me in the last six months. He's been so withdrawn since the appearance of the Spectre. I don't know what else. Very soon. The world will end. <gasps>
Some puzzles must be met directly. No puzzle is without an answer. Four questions uh, I need uh, for this first
Okay, just let's start it. Let's get started.
Handle this one, Professor. I did it, Professor.
What do you think about this? That puzzle was no problem. Because of this.
ね、ミヤモライ。よし。泣いて。A challenging puzzle, to be sure. Yes. I love the thrill of a good solution. Some puzzles must be met directly. No puzzle is without an answer. Thank、you
ты пазл? Handle this one, Professor. I did it, Professor. Good. Got this one. That puzzle was no problem. A challenging puzzle, to be sure. I love the thrill of a good solution.
This took some creative thinking. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. Some puzzles must be met directly. I love the thrill of a good solution. 500 picker, perfect. Thank you. 